Ozzy, that's Carl Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com. Today we have got a classic. We're going to learn how to do You've Got Another Thing Coming by Judas Priest. So some pretty simple riffs in this one, and then a really cool solo by Glenn Tipton as well that's got some not so simple stuff in it. So we're going to be taking a look at all of it today. But before we do, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And ring the notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video and watch those videos when they're released. Come on, guys. I put a lot of work into this stuff. And uh, please check out my Guitar Academy, too. You'll see the link in the description below. Um, I'm offering a free seven-day trial right now. Um, it gives you full access to all of my guitar courses, including complete beginner courses all the way to more advanced courses in um, technique and improvisation, ear training, guitar tone, lots of cool stuff. So please come join the community. I've got we got a nice uh, community going, and it's it's really growing. So hopefully you'll 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 join us over there. All right, so let's jump into this. I'm in standard tuning here, and um, we've got a couple of riffs that are happening in this intro. So we have uh, just on this F sharp power chord at this second fret of the low E. We've got that going on. So that'd be K.K. Downing's part. And then we have Glenn Tipton doing this over. All right, so we're going to start here with uh, his part, which is the fourth fret on the G and the fifth fret on the B together. That comes in on the up E. And then the fourth fret on the D and the G together. And then go down to that same F sharp power chord. And there's a little turnaround to get back to the riff. So that's going to be, I'm going to hit the second fret there on the A um, and the, on the A note there. So it's the second fret on the D and the G string. Hit that a couple times. And then I grab this F sharp on the bottom, the this little the bass note here with my thumb, um, like that. And then back to the dump stop up top here. Then back to that root note. And then, then move it up to the uh, fourth fret on the D and the G. Like this. All right, so it sounds like this now. Then kind of repeat that again. Except this at the end is a little bit different. It does this. Now that, I'm doing that hammer on my thumb too. You don't need to do that. It starts with those, the second fret there on the D and the G there. This is the second ending here. You hit the low E open, and then hammer on too. And then you can go to the second fret there on the D and the G again. Then back to the F sharp root note. And then those four. So it's kind of, there's a little hammer on in there. Um, so it's fine for me to do the hammer on my thumb, but if you don't like doing that, you can do it with just all of your index finger. All right, so uh, from there we go to the verse. Um, the verse sounds like this. So it's a bunch of that. So it's a little, you gotta get the timing of, of these hits though. So we start with just hitting that F sharp power chord. Kind of muted. And then we have this. You're gonna hit the, uh, kind of accent the fourth fret there on the A and the D together. Then the low F sharp though, that second fret on the low E. And then you're gonna lift up these fingers and hit the second fret across the A and the D. And then go back to the fours. So we have this. So all together. So it's kind of. 
So just kind of a... All right, so from there, the second time we do that, uh, well, it's not really the second time, it does this. It goes back to those twos on the A, a and the D, and then it hits the F sharp, uh, or the F sharp and the C sharp here, which is the fourth fret of the A and the D, twice. So this riff is like this. So kind of accenting those on the A string, and that's the timing. All right, and then at the end we have, we have a quick hit the F sharp power chord, the open E power chord, and then back to the F sharp. So for the whole riff, Now we get to the pre-chorus. Both guitars play the same chords, except they uh, do a different version of the D each. So, uh, like Lynn Tempton, he likes to play like this. All right, so that's just this same F sharp power chord. To a D power chord, so this is up at the fifth fret of the A string, down to the second fret, and then back to the first chord. Now I'll start over. Now this last chord, instead of going back to the F sharp power chord, we go up to C sharp. All right, so all together. Just in case uh, you might have watched this live and be kind of fooled, Glenn Tempton plays it with a, that kind of finger. He plays it with his taking his ring finger and just kind of pouring it across. All right, but the same chords. Uh, KK Downing, same thing, but he likes to play the D here. So it's just that D power chord instead of being there. Plays the open D power chord. So the open D string, second fret on the G, third fret on the B there. And everything else is the same. All right, so then we get to the pre chorus. I mean, sorry, the chorus. That was a pre chorus. It sounds like this. So that's kind of similar to the riff we did earlier. You're kind of riding that low F sharp there. So, so we have, basically I'm holding the rest of the power chord here. Um, so you don't need the whole power chord. I mean, I say like Glenn Tipton, he'll go. So basically what he's doing, he, he plays those the second fret there on the D and the G. And then he has uh, his thumb here and he can grab um, the the uh, fourth fret here on the A string. So he when he's doing those chugs, he's doing that. He has that full power chord. So what? And then up to this fourth fret there on the uh, D and the G together. So we had this. You got another thing. Now the second time, it's that same little hammer on. If you want to just do it like that, zero two. So we have this. Or like that. 
around if you want to do it like that. But I like just kind of do it with a thumb so I don't have to kind of change positions of these. So one more time for the chorus. So depending on the time, when the chorus happens, it's long. They do it more times or just that many times or whatever. All right, so then we go back into the um, verse, same verse, same pre-chorus, same chorus. So same riffs that we've already covered. And then we get to the bridge section, which is how it introduces a couple different chords here. It sounds like this. So that's a B minor 7 chord that it starts with here. So that's a bar at the uh, second fret there, across from the high E all the way to the A string. So then you're going to also add the third fret there on the B and the fourth fret there on the D. I'll maybe roll off the volume a little bit to clean it up. So we have that. Down to an A major chord. And then that F sharp. F sharp power chord is fine. So and then this same chord again starts. B minor 7 to the A. And then that C sharp. And then that leads us into Glenn Tipton's solo. So um, now the solo is over the chorus riff. And then after the chorus, the kind of for the first half of the, the solo, the second half of the solo is over the pre-chorus. Um, uh, riff. All right. So, and then they just come back from there. So, so let's take a look at uh, this solo real quick. Then I'll show you how to play it phrase by phrase. <laughs> So that's got some uh, some cool stuff in it. Not nothing. It's got some really fast licks in there. Just a couple of them, but the rest of it's not that bad. So let's start here with this uh, first phrase. So that's gonna be um, now. Uh, I'm thinking maybe he's doing it from the 21st fret. Um, so it's a step and a half bend um, all the way up to that that E there. So step and a half and you keep kind of a, doing a bend and release there at the 21st fret. And then at the end of it, you're going to have 17 on the high E over to 19 on the B there. All right, from there we have this next phrase. So that is uh, kind of tricky to hear, it's kinda, but it's like... So wh what I'm doing is I'm sliding into the uh, 16th fret there on the G string. Over, play the, then 14 on the B, roll over to the 14 on the high E, then back to that 14 on the B. Then you're going to pull off 17 to 14 there on the B. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play 17 on the G string. Then back to that 14 on the B. Then you're going to go down to 16 on the G. Then back to that 14 on the B. So we have this so far. Now you're going to do that 17 on the G, back to that 14 on the B again. So we have this. And 
And then you're going to end it by going 17, 16, 14 on the G. So I might have actually gone to that B string again, because you, you kind of basically just do that 16 once, and then back to... So... Might go to that 17, back to that 14 again, then do that, so... Yeah, like that. And then we have this. So that is going to be, that's um, 16 on the D, to 14 on the G, to 17 on the G, to the 14 on the B, then 17, 16, 14 on the G, over down to that 16 on the D, so we have this. All right, from there, we go back to the 17 on the G, back to that 14, 17, 16, 14 on the D, and then end it with 16, 14, 16 on the D. So that whole part. Kind of end that with a kind of a quick little bend on the uh, 14th fret on the uh, G string. So all together. All right, now this is this next lick is uh, probably the most difficult of the solo. So it looks like this. So that is going to be. It's going to start here at the 14th on the D string. Hammer on 16, pull back off the 14. Then over to 16 on the A, then back to that 14 on the D. Then play 16, 15 on the uh, A string. Now from there, it's kind of a two straight descending licks. We're going to play 16, 14 on the D string, 16, 15, 14 on the A, over to 17 on the low E. So we have this. Now he's got some pinch harmonics in. So let your thumb kind of get in front of the pick there. And then we're going to end it by going, starting that same descending line, but starting at one note lower, so on that 14 on the D. Then the same notes. And then when he gets to that bottom note, just bend it up. So we have this all together. So, kind of hairy, but manageable. So then we have this. So that is still based around this F sharp minor pentatonic here. We have this. So it's kind of a, a few bends at the 17th fret there on the B string. And then, and he starts kind of doing like a little blues. He starts doing like a little blues lick descending. And then he interrupts it like in the right in the middle of it and jumps down and grabs this uh, 14th fret down the A. Okay. And then we have this thing. So 
So that's uh. So that's a bend here and release the 12th fret on the B. And then, so we have, a, you do it, play 10, hammer 12, pull back off to 10, over to 11 on the uh, G string. Then pick that 10, slide down to nine, then play 10 on the G, and now pick nine on the B, slide down to eight, then play nine on the G. So and then once one more time, play eight, slide down to seven, and then we're so it's kind of the same. So as you get it here, it's the same lick. Kind of done a few times. So that's just a couple of bends of the ninth fret there on the G. Into that, you know, then you play kind of the, almost a unison thing. That seventh fret there on the B. And then grab 10, pull up to 7, and do that bend again. All right, now the last lick is kind of a random blues lick thing um, that he kind of does different every time. Uh, but it sounds like this. So basically it's based around the F sharp minor blues scale. So we're going to start here uh, doing a bend to the 17th fret on the B string. Then play that kind of the same note here, the 14th fret there on the high E string. Into a bend to the 17th fret on the high E string. Now here, I'm going to kind of let you guys do kind of your own thing here just like he does because it's kind of random. What he's using is just the notes from 14 to 17 on the high E and the B. And then he'll play 17, 16, 14 on the G as well. But he's usually gonna kind of bending from that 16 up to that 17. So it's kind of one of those deals. Just And when he ends that last bend, what he does is he grabs that 16th fret and bends it up. And while you do that, grab the uh, 17th fret there on the B. And you can, I can, I, sometimes I hybrid pick these. But you did the bend here on the 16th, on, uh, and then you're holding the 17th on the B and doing the bend of the 16th fret on the G string. So you do that, and then keep picking it. And just release that bend. And in the solo with that uh, 14th fret there on the G there. So um, that's some really cool licks, but that last lick I think is better. Just kind of do your own thing with, because he's just kind of. Doing his, you know, kind of improvising that little section. All right, uh, now from there, we just have the verse and the chorus and really the intro that happens again. The intro is kind of at the end where we've been. Uh, but that's about it. So obviously things are played a lot longer, a lot longer chorus and stuff at the end. But uh, that is about it for You've Got Another Thing Coming. Some great guitar work by Glenn Tipton and KK Downing, a classic tune. So I um, uh, hope you guys had some fun learning it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.